Hello, I'm Robert Beatty, New York Times best-selling author. I'm told the video I did a couple weeks ago, the volume was too low, and viewers don't know how to operate the volume increase uh, on their own device, so I should do this over. And I will do so partially. This is uh, published in 1965. Dwight V. Swain's book, Tricks and Techniques of the Selling Writer. I love that. It's got the little sign there. Let's see. There we are. Library of Congress catalog card number. Copyright 1965 by Dwight V. Swain. He talks about some other books in here. Of course, he wrote the foreword. July 14th, 1964. The book was done. The chapters, contents. There's, it's almost identical to the 1982 rev, uh, revised edition. Here he writes on page 103, My late colleague, Professor Walter S. Campbell, used to say that he began to sell as soon as he mastered scene format. Well, we'll talk more about that. This is uh, not in the 1982 book, but uh, in the 1965 book, uh, it's got this book jacket. This manual offers beginning writers up-to-date information on how to write fiction, fiction, especially for magazines. Well, in 1965, Magazines wanted short stories. They also wanted serial novels, in some cases complete novels, though that was dying off. In fact, this was all dying off. Kurt Vonnegut, who also taught in a uh, master's program at Iowa, more famous program, um, said he felt bad about teaching because he was teaching short story writing and the short story market was drying up. He said it was as if you had a pharmacy school and there were only three drugstores left in America. Anyway, in a real sense, this manual is the natural successor to the books writing magazine fiction and writing advice and devices since Dwight V. Swain studied and worked with Walter S. Campbell, author of those two classics, in the field of fiction writing. And that's for sure. Here is Writing Magazine Fiction by Walter S. Campbell. Talk about that in a minute. And here is Writing and Advice and Devices, Walter S. Campbell. What you find if you read this, which I've read several times, this is um, Campbell's 1950 book, 15 years before uh, Swain's book, published 1950. Talks about writing in scenes. He did not do what was later done and divide uh, actually it's really considerably different um, in one key aspect the scene it's on page 91 Seen as a unit of dramatic action, like a round in a prize fight. 
follows a definite formula as follows. Meeting of the two forces. Basically two characters. Purpose of one or both. Let the reader know. Encounter. This is conflict. Final action. Win, lose, or quit. That's very different because Swain says disaster, but you can win. Now, in the uh, magazine writing the shorter video I made a few days ago, a uh, quote from uh, Mario Puzo's The Godfather, where Michael Corleone success successfully executes Salazzo and Captain McClutzy. Uh, and then sequel. Now, back in the 30s and 40s and then into the 50s, the sequel was just considered part of the scene. And, of course, many people still write that way. Uh, the two aspects for the sequel are state of affairs and the main character's state of mind. So, there is... Uh, Campbell's earlier books published 10 years earlier in 1940. Writing magazine fiction. Published. Copyright and published 1940. Foster Harris, colleague and friend. The sequence is the um, professional writing program at University of Oklahoma. Uh, it was basically, not entirely, it's a joint work, but Foster Harris basically started it. Walter S. Campbell became the director, which was right here. It says, though, Director, Courses in Professional Writing, University of Oklahoma. It was followed by Dwight Swain, followed by Jack Pickham, followed by Deborah Chester. Now, oh, yeah, I'm going to go back to one thing here. 1940. Now, I'm older and my wife's older. My wife was born in 1940. This book is 83 years old. My wife is 83 years old. We're preparing to or sign the paperwork and moving into you know a nursing home basically it's a progressive care We're still able to walk with a cane and so forth but we're uh, getting older so in 1940 to write for a magazine what was published in magazines were the short story the novelette the complete novel, the serial, the short, short story, and uh, the readers had different expectations. Now, what are they talking about? Well, what was published in a magazine might have been Doc Savage, such as Mystic Mula, published back in the 1930s. Might have been The Shadow, The Shadow Knows, Maxwell Grant. Published different years. So, a complete novel. Uh, published in a magazine back in the 30s and 40s would be like The Shadow or Duck Savage. And um, it might have, uh, it might be anywhere between 40,000 and 75,000 words. I mean, they were. It depends on quite a number of things, but often it depended on uh, money because of the Depression and because of uh, starting uh, for America in 1941. The war, they didn't always have 
paper, ink. Uh, there were shortages for civilian use, like putting out a magazine, uh, entertainment, when they had more important things to use. Uh, they had a lot of paper in the military. So they the novels became shorter. Anyway, uh, often a even where there would be a complete say 60,000 word novel um, in a book. There would also be a short story, uh, maybe an essay, uh, maybe part of a serial for a novel. I mean, serials have been around since the 1800s. Dickens, Tolstoy, Dostoevsky, they, uh, uh, almost all their books were first published as magazine serials. Um, in today's world, it's not done so much, but as far as I know it could be you could self-publish uh, in parts and then finish and rewrite it they often almost always rewrote it as a novel just like uh, Asimov later and when he wrote uh, Foundation as a series of short stories novelettes in uh, magazines when they were mashed together he uh, rewrote, added a chapter, and uh, it was published as a novel. It wasn't originally written that way. So anyway, I'll, t I'll uh, work out, I'll, you know, go over this in more detail, but it's the uh, same thing back in 1940 that he wrote uh, uh, in 1950 as far as the scene was just a part that were included in the scene was the sequel. They were they hadn't uh, separated them out. Uh, readers were used to that and they were used to not necessarily a disaster but a victory. Um, so I'll go over that in a different video.